Well, this video is going to be a little different. I normally put up stuff about foam board, RC airplanes, riding out in the woods on my little trail bikes and stuff like that. But today I decided hey, I was going to make a video about some of my favorite guns. I started digging guns out and I'm like, well, this video is going to be way too long. So I'm just going to break this up into two videos. And this first one is just going to be my favorite, some of my favorite rim fires. Then I'll probably make another video of some of my favorite center fire rifles so uh, since I've only got one 17 HMR that made the list I'll start out with that it's a Savage 93 17 stainless steel bull barrel Boyd's thumb hole stock 24 power scope on it this one will reach out there pretty good. And then I guess since there's not as many of them, I'll go straight to the Magnums. So I only got one Magnum pistol. That's the PMR 30, which is a really fun gun to shoot. Doesn't weigh a lot. Fits in a 1911, a little soft 1911 holster pretty good. You can throw it in there. You're out walking in the woods, you know, you run into rattlesnakes, rabid raccoons or something. This will pretty much take care of anything, unless you live in bear country or something. But uh, really light. You carry it all day. Don't even realize it's there. Then we got the model 77, 22. It's the Ruger All Weather with the boat boat paddle stock, 22 Magnum. It's got a Zeiss scope on it which the scope was on there when I bought it. It only goes up to 9 power, which I like something a little more powerful than that if I'm shooting at small targets at 100 yards or more. But I left it on there because it's got really nice glass. It's a really nice scope, so I just left that Zeiss on there. Those are getting them kind of hard to find, depending on the caliber. I guess there's, depending on what caliber you want. But. And then this one, My Ruger 10-22 in 22 mag. Got a 16 power scope on there. It's a Tasco. Works good. And believe it or not, this gun shoots tighter groups at 100 yards than that bold action all weather does. This gun here just shoots amazingly well. Really, really nice gun. Both of those Magnums fairly expensive I know I didn't look into either one of those real cheap and then uh, I'm just gonna jump to the pistols by far my favorite rimfire pistol is my mark 3 hunter shoot this gun all the time I most of my 22s just sit around collecting dust because when I want to shoot a 22 I just grab this thing it's just killer although the cheapest gun I'm gonna show today I just bought know, about two, three weeks ago. I've only got to the range once or twice, and that's the the Heritage Rough Rider. And I gotta say, a couple times I've gotten this thing to the range, man. I've just had a blast with this gun, man. I just I love this little thing. It's it is just so much fun. Uh, mine wasn't the combo model, so I sent off the ordered the Magnum cylinder for twenty nine bucks. So with the other cylinder tax and everything. I've got less than $200 in this gun, and it is just a total blast to shoot. It's just, it's just fun. And I got the shortest barrel, the aluminum alloy frame. I got the cheapest one they had in the store, 100, 139 bucks for this one. I bought the cheapest one they had, but it's worth every penny. So much fun. Now for the 22 long rifles. Uh, we'll start with this one. This is an old Springfield, which I have refinished the stock to pretty it up a little bit. Bold action, feed them in one at a time, pull the knob back. It shoots really well, really accurate. But part of the reason this is one of my favorite guns is my dad bought this over 70 years ago. First gun he ever owned. He bought it with his money that he made as a paper boy. When he was 12 years old, he paid $6 for that gun, brand new about 72, 73 years ago. 
and it shoots great. I really like that gun. It's 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 fun. And this is another one that got passed down from my dad, which I used to shoot this in high school. This is a uh, 572 Fieldmaster Pump 22. Shoot long rifles, longs and shorts. Really nice gun. This is an older one without that other screw here. I've got two of these actually. The other one's got the screw in here that holds the holds the barrel in. This is one of the older models. It shoots great. And uh, uh, this is my brown Mohawk Brown nylon 66. Now this isn't my original gun, but the very first gun I had when I was in 13 years old or whatever, my dad bought me one of these, which is why I had to find another one because I always loved that gun. Got stolen out of my garage after I'd had. It. I don't know, four or five years, whatever. Put a lot of rounds through it. Disappeared. Had to get another one. So, I used to shoot this. Well, not this one, but my Nylon 66. And the 572 pump. I'd get them both out sometimes in target shoot. And the 572 pump always shot better groups than the, the nylon gun. But I love the nylon gun. Always have. And then I picked up another one. A black and chrome model. This one's actually in pretty good shape Apache black and chrome nice gun I like I like my nylon guns and then I've got the Speedmaster what's the number on the Speedmaster 552 552 Speedmaster really nice gun it'll also shoot shorts somehow I don't know how it cycles but it does and this is my oldest. I got three 1022s. This is my oldest one. I've repainted the receiver on it, put a different stock on it, a big scope, a BX trigger, done the you know, all my uh, all my 1022s. I've done the, the bolt release modification to them and kit extractors and. All that kind of stuff, but this is this is my old stainless one that I've done a bunch of stuff to, and shoots pretty good. And it's my favorite of my 1022s. And I got the big old long barreled CZ 455, 455 Ultra Lux. Uh, I got a 16 power scope on this one. This one shoots pretty darn good at 100 yards. It's a, this is a good 100 yard gun for a 22. Beautiful gun. Love the CZ. And my most expensive 22. This one is a Tony Kid. Only Ruger part in it is the magazine. This is a full blown, bought, pre assembled, bought it right from, from Tony Kid. Full custom. This is the target model 5.2, I think. Was it the 5.1? I don't know. I don't remember which one I bought. It, it, it's got the two stage half pound trigger in it. All custom. I got a crossfire, a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope on it. 16 power. That gun there will shoot 100 yards too. It didn't come in this stock. I bought that stock off eBay just because I thought it looked cool. Came in a a Hogue, a Hogue stock, which is okay. I just didn't really care for it. So, guess that's it for my the favorites rim fires that I culled out for this video. I'll probably go ahead and make another video of some of my favorite center fire guns, pistols, and rifles. So. I know I've got like five subscribers out there, but if anybody runs across this one, you might want to look for part two, unless you just like rimfires.